Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabre, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos. Friday Night Brights, mouthing off with Mike Macabre, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions. And coming back to the channel is Los Haivas. Yes, indeed. Loving me some Los Haivas. We're going to be reacting to Corre Que Te Pio, which translates to Run, I Catch You, I do believe. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but a uh, link to the original video will be down in the description box for evening pleasure at your leisure. And I do believe this is going to be a live version. Festival de Viña del Mar, 1983. So, yeah. <laughs> and we got a long list of a lot of people that wanted me to react to this song. We have Christian Daniel Mora de la Rosa, Valerie Navarro, Elda Kaim, Hugo, Hugo Abarzuia, Ricardo Navaretta, Mistreated, Aderna Romanini Laca. They all wanted me to react to this particular track. As always, going into it blind with my off the cuff comments. If I recognize a song, I will let everybody know. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. But without further ado, let's check it out. All right, ghouls and ghosts. Festival de Viña, 1983, Los Haivas with Corilla Que de Pillo. Ahora un malambo. Así que a zapatear. Corre que te pillo. More cowbell! Is that a trumpet? Oh, it's a synth! <laughs> base. Maybe Phaser? Trippy guitars, though. I dig that.
drum solo. Salt on the eyes. Uh-oh. I love the sonic nature of that. Deeper. I want more of that. drum solo. He just going nuts. Wow. is really into the music. Wah pedal there.
All right. Whew, that was a long one. <laughs> um, I do have to think about this one for a little bit. See in the review section. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was Los Haivas with their song Cora Que Te Pio, which translates again to uh, Run, I Catch You, I do believe. Uh, this was Live Festival de Vina del Mar, 1983. Link to the original video, as always, will be down in the description box. Free viewing pleasure at your leisure. And again, this request comes to us by Christian Daniel Mora de la Rosa, Valeria Navarro, Elda Kaim, Hugo Abarzuea, Ricardo Navarrete, Mistreated, and Aderna Romanini Laca. They all wanted me to react to this Los Haivas track. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. <laughs> this was very interesting. I, I wasn't very into it in the beginning. It had some good parts. Uh, it just didn't really capture me until the second part of the drum solo kicked in. And it was just off the wall, amazing energy. I, I love a good drum solo. It just gets my blood pumping. Uh, I am a drummer myself, as well as, well as a guitarist. And I dabble with bass and keyboards. But uh, I'm, I definitely consider myself more of a guitarist and or drummer. It was an instrumental, which was uh, surprising. I thought I was going to hear some vocal work. Um, but no, but that's okay. I, I, it had like a very much uh, of a jam band feel. And I, I kept thinking about when he was doing the cowbell, uh, more cowbell. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> uh, that is classic SNL right there for you. <laughs> right, overall, I thought it was a pretty good track. Um, nothing like too spectacular, other than when they kicked it in the high gear with the with the drum solo. I w I was sitting around maybe like a three three point five, but. The second half of the of the track really, really caught my attention. Uh, it was very trippy. Uh, worked perfectly with the harmonies between the synths, the guitars, the bass, everything. All, musically, it just towards the the second half was just phenomenal in my opinion. Great lighting, uh, stage presence as far as like energy on stage. It was, it was okay. I, I, there really wasn't. I mean, you can't do much when you're. Like you're a drummer you're on your kit or on the keyboards or on the uh, the piano, but the bass and the guitars were jumping around having a good time. That was that was cute. I I did enjoy that. So I'm not gonna knock it for not having like you know running back and forth doing all these crazy things. But the uh, the drum solo, like I said, kicked it up quite a bit as far as uh, score is concerned. So taking everything into account, I am going to give this. 4.5 skulls out of 5. Absolutely happy with that score for all the reasons I just stated. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos. Friday Night Frights, mouthing off with Mike Macabre, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared. Ah, wow.